Welcome to a free tutorial brought to you by wordlearningzone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up multiple sections in a Word 2007 document. The benefit of which is that you can have different page numbering. For example, let's say chapter 1 starts on page 4 of your document and you don't want pages 1, 2, and 3 to have numbers. Let's say it's a, a title page and a copyright page and a dedication page and then you want num number 1 to start. Well, that's what this tutorial is going to show you how to do. Elaine writes to me, says she's using Microsoft Word 2007 and she has a document that has a couple of pages including a cover page, a copyright page, a dedication page, and then her chapter pages. And she wants to do page numbering in the headers, but she wants the page numbering to start with the first chapter page, the first page of chapter one, and not include numbering for the cover page, the copyright page, and the dedication pages. How do you do it? Well, it's not easy, but here's how you do it. Let's say in my document here, I've got a cover page. And I'll just type in cover page. I'm not going to do anything fancy. And then I'll hit Control Enter for a page break. And that'll bring me down to the top of page two. And let's say this is my copyright page. Then I'll hit Control Enter again. So now I'm on page three. And this will be my, you know, dedication page. Control Enter. And you can make those pretty. And now on page four, this is chapter one. Okay, some stuff here. So this is the first actual page that you want to have numbers on. You don't want to include pages 1, 2, and 3. All right, so if I zoom out, here's page 1, page 2, and down here in the bottom, we got page 3 and page 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the end of page 3. You can come after the page break if you want to. And we're going to create two different sections in this document. That's how you can create multiple page numbering schemes. So I'm at the end of page 3. I'm going to go to Page Layout, Breaks, and then Section Breaks are down here. There's a couple of different ones. I'm just going to pick the first one here, Next Page. Insert a section break and start the new section on the next page. All right, now that's a hidden character right there, the section break. And the reason why I can see that is because I have my paragraph markers turned on, and you can see your breaks. There's my page break, my section break. So now, 1, 2, and 3 are part of Section 1. Page 4 starts Section 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click up here in the header. And you can see the header section appears. All right, now over here is header section 1. And over here we're in header section 2. Now notice the same as previous. If I insert anything up into this header section here, notice it's over here as well. Because they're linked together. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that text. I'm going to turn off this little box here that says link to previous and I'm on the header and footer tools design tab I'm gonna turn off link to previous notice the same as previous goes away all right you have to do the same thing for the footer section too. notice the footer section is linked to previous as well but now if I put a page number up here right here's page number I'll go current position plain number there's a one notice it doesn't come in over here and I'll zoom in so you can see it right there's my page four but I don't want it to be page four I want it to be page one alright so I'm gonna highlight it again page number format page numbers start at number one that restarts the page numbering and now I'm on page four of four you can see down here but my page numbering is a page one okay let me zoom out just a hair so you can see this better all right, there it is. All right, now if I scroll up to my previous pages, here's page three, and you can see at the top of page three, the dedication page, there's no page number there. That's because this section doesn't have a page number. All right, if I come down to the bottom, right, chapter one, some stuff here. Let's say I come down to the bottom, I type in some stuff, right, type in some text, and then I'll press Control-Enter to go to page two, and now I'm on page two. Right now I'm on page two, and it's numbered page two, even though it's page five of five. And you can do this with as many sections as you want. If you want chapter two to have its own page numbering scheme, just insert another section break. And that's how you do it. There's like three or four steps in there that you have to do to get this to work. 
But once you do this, now you can set up different sections, and your sections can have different page numbers and all kinds of formats and stuff. And I cover this in my Microsoft Word tutorials. Thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from wordlearningzone.com. If you have any other questions about Word, feel free to visit my website and post them in the forums, or you can ask them in the Tech Help section. Attention YouTube viewers, if you come to my webpage at wordlearningzone.com YouTube, you can get a 25% discount on any of my Word tutorials.